Um, we have requested in the past, but we were told that we boys are not allowed to play on the field under the conditions that Woodfield was initially um, donated to the village. Whether that's true or not, I don't know, but uh, we have asked to have, could we have T-ball games up there? And because boys and girls play together, we were told that. If that's a possibility in the future, then... Yeah, I mean, it's a little league field. It's 200 feet, right? So it's a legit. No, no, but, but as far <laughs> yeah. as I know. Well, it, as far my, as my, as my, my, understanding, my understanding. That's um, why we put the fence there. I mean, you didn't have the two. My understanding was when that when that area was donated to the village, and again, I'm only on here saying I don't know if um, board member Devinko has more information than I do regarding the field. It was specifically set because the girls did not have a place to play. So it was specifically designated as a girls' softball field. And I guess that had just run through. Um, you know, as we indicated to the mayor, that we had probably spent up to $10,000 on that field. Um, and as you said, shame on us for doing it. Um, but to improve that field, make that field better, the, the fencing, the scoreboard, um, everything in concession. Um, and that had been set for girls. And when it was opened, it was open for girls softball, girls little league softball. Um, when I first took over, this is year three for me, so one year prior to you and your board coming in, I had requested because, again, if we all know Mays, it rains on Tuesday, you're not playing until Saturday. <laughs> we had requested, could we um, schedule some games for our little ones, T-balls, uh, T-ballers, and uh, I was told no. It's a girls' field. Boys aren't allowed. Requested who? Through who? The previous administration. Yeah. I you know, I, if I, I could think tell you who, I would. If, if, if I know of any stories, it would be that maybe they had their own field because if there was a choice of playing a boys' game or girls' game after the rain, they always went with the boys. So the girls. Well, yeah, out. and right at that However, point when Woodfield I mean, before we Woodfield materialized, the girls had nowhere to play. Yeah. And that, that's bottom line. Girls had nowhere to play. I mean, I have no idea where, where that would, would be here in this building, but I'm sure we could just do whatever we need to do. As long as the field is being used. Right. I mean, I'd rather the I field get used be used. I never heard of it. Absolutely. Yeah. I would love to bring my, my team, especially my girls, because then they get a chance to see where they'll play as I they go through the program. Like it too. Yeah. I mean, that's, you know. yeah. And it provides concession for those games as well. So if that's a, a possibility, I, I would be thrilled. See, we're not so bad after all. Oh, just him. It sounds, it sounds discriminatory. <laughs> well, I think, I, just think, again, I think it was on the basis of the girls had nowhere to play, and the girls deserve the field, which they absolutely do. And if you start with T-ball, does it continue when you, you try to place boys, more boys up there? So, although it may look like that, I don't think it was initially set up to be discriminatory. No, it just sounds. The sound? Yeah, yeah. Kind of odd. Well, the boys use the three fields at maze. Correct. But, it, you know, again. T Ball uses maze. Maze also. Yeah. It's, uh, so it's scheduling how. Was it Stonegate? Stonegate is for our instructional kids. Okay. That's the. You don't use school, school fields for games anymore. We used to play at Roundhill. T Ball. Well, we played Roundhill. Correct. Well, yes, this is where it's kind of changed. So when I took over, T-Ball would have practices. So we would have the games at Mays, but then the, your team could practice at Round Hill or at Ahern. Okay. But what I did is we, we kind of changed the program in-house because we realized we were losing a lot of kids in between. So what I did was I incorporated, I merged the two programs. So now I incorporate a practice on game day. Because they're so young, four to six year olds, I was like, they can learn. There's no reason, you know, T ball had always been, here's the ball, go and get it. So, what I do is 20, 20 minutes of instruction, two separate teams, and then 25 minutes of combining and let the kids have fun. So, now we're regulated down to just two days a week now, which is nice. And the parents are happy, the kids are more focused. Have the parents requested boys using it has, It hasn't come up in. Two years because initially we were told that we couldn't use it. You said scheduling wise it would help you. Scheduling wise, I can I can put 
if I have a potential rain out at Mays. So right now, I'm sitting with 11 T-ball teams. Wow. That's always the most, because they start and they move. Yeah. yeah. Um, so I have 11 T-ball teams, and I've narrowed it down to probably six to seven kids per team, so we can instruct them. I could probably do four teams up at Woodfield, which will be, give me seven teams that I'd have to worry about as well. You want to just look at good before next week? Yeah. 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 With girls taking priority. Yeah. Of course. Yeah. Of course. Yeah. We're, and it, that would be with an R scheduling anyway. That's, that's in the right. Yeah. That's a shame. Is there anything I need to submit or file or form? Because the you the field. It would be the same yeah. date. Yeah. Yeah. So so okay. Yeah. And that's all in house. There would be no outside. No, that, that's, I don't have, I don't know. No. We have to look into it. However, not this schedule. Yeah. Okay. okay. I just have to say, I didn't realize how much went into this, and thank you for everything you, you and all the yeah. coaches do. Honestly, I had no idea. So speaking with you the day now, I, I couldn't imagine organizing all that and setting it all up, and then not having that many people volunteer. You know, we all do a lot of volunteering in the village. You know, like with the events, and there's the same people yeah. every time. Right. We have, we have the same thing. And like I said, you know, I'm, I don't tout it. I'm very fortunate that I've and my board have created a program that we can sustain over 400 kids in, in a softball and baseball environment where you lose kids more and more. I mean, we outweigh lacrosse, we outweigh football, and even soccer. Um, it, it has to be making a uh, It has to be making a comeback baseball, strictly because of parents saying I don't need the football. Well, well that. Well, that too, and I, where I will pat myself on the back and my coaches is that we're creating a good program. Yeah. We have a program, well, yeah. you know, that that kids are enjoying yeah. and they want to come back, and that's that's the bottom line. I mean, I had just for instance, I lost fourteen girls because they aged out. Last year, I had three senior teams of girls that started this program in team. Wow. I have twenty-seven boys, which is unheard of today returning for their final year of baseball. Yeah. So it's, you know, it the foundation was laid before me, but, you know, I believe the changes that have, we've tried to grow with the environment mm -hmm. of video games and baseball, if you don't love it, it is the most boring sport ever. It's like watching paint dry. Yeah. <laughs> it's probably and I'll say that. It's I live, one, breathe, and sleep. The, it's the one sport that if you don't like. Correct. But, you know, we've created a, a, an environment for our girls and for our boys that we do come back. And that's, again, has to credit to the, to the villages and to the town for the support over the years. And again, we're the longest youth program for 61 years we have now. You know, so the combination of us working together to provide an environment, provide fields for these kids is paramount. And that's why I'll fight for them and I'll fight for the field and I'll fight as small as it seems to you guys, for me to have the field break the mind. It doesn't seem like a big deal, but for my program, for my girls, and I will say that mine, that's paramount. If it doesn't work out, it doesn't work out. Listen, I know that we're tenants, you're the landlord, but I will fight for them. And I will continue to fight for them as long as I'm in this position. Make full circle on that. And what you said is this year going forward, if the fence breaks, you gotta let us know. Yeah. yeah don't call your friend's guy. <laughs> but also, too, I'm, I'll be honest with you. I might not. If I can do it, I'll do it. But to me, it's not to me. Don't say next year, then I fixed it for $1,000. But, have, but it, yeah. there's never been a history, and you no, look back on this you know. board, yeah. right. this board sitting here, and the prior boards before that, that I can guarantee there's never been a bill submitted by the way. Right. But so I don't know what you're dealing with. Boys, boys, it is. Uh, boys can't play that. <laughs> Which is, it is what it is. But I'm saying I will continue to do on my end, and if it's a significant amount, of course, if I can't afford to do it, but again, m myself and my volunteers and my board, it's not about the nickel and diamond, and I don't know if that has gotten lost with everything that you have to deal with when you came in. You know, 
when Joe and I spoke about, I came in into a situation that I had a right. I don't get paid anything. You guys came into a situation where you don't get paid enough. And I'm sure the broad of dollars goes like this. But I don't, I don't feel, what's the right way to say it? I don't want to be a victim of a nickel and dime because everything else that happened before me. So the issues had never been up before. This has never been an issue. Um, I know you had asked me, will you pay for the permit on everybody else? So I don't know if that was going to become an issue. We have worked with everybody in terms of, because of the program that we provide for village residents, town residents, village residents of South Blooming Grove, the give and take had been, we're not going to charge you to, to use the fields because you provide a program. We're not going to charge you for electric at that level. And again, different events, not you guys. I understand what you guys have done for this village and the good that you've done for this village. There's no question in that. On my end, I'm very plain and simple. You've got to talk to me like a third grader so I can understand it. And I got it. And I'm just fighting for the program itself. If we come to a situation where it's nickel and dime, I don't see the necessity for that. But it is what it is. And you guys have to deal with it. But every year I will sit here and I will sit in front of the mayor, I will sit in front of the board, and I will fight for a groundskeeper. Yeah, I appreciate that. And I appreciate your passion, like she said. But I, I don't like the nickel and dime thing. I don't think it's nickel and dime. I think it's just cut dry. But if it was never an issue, now it's an issue. To me, it's nickel and dime. Now you look at it and say, I'm, I'm using a service for the village. Why are I paying for it? Mm -hmm. Why is that an issue now? Why wasn't it an issue prior? There are a lot of things prior to this that were not issues that are now that we have yeah. found, you know, right. with working on the budget. Right. It's not, we're not picking on you. Right. I, I just feel like I'm, I'm, I'm this on their scale of problems. Yeah. Yeah. No, 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 and you're not a problem. You're not, you're not a problem, problem on any problem. scale. If you were a problem, so you would be bigger than that. <laughs> <laughs> the problems we have are way bigger than, yeah, yeah. that's not, that's not no, even, no. Because I you feel bad that you feel like that. You know, but like what, what we said on Friday, the, the fact that we had the, the food bank, we had the Humane Society, we had um, senior, senior, citizens. senior citizens going on bus trips. We did all that. You know, I, I understand. And, 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 and I, if, I understand. if we had, you know, 60 lawyers in, in this room, they would all have different yeah. opinions. Right. Okay. Unfortunately, the one that, that we have. Right. Well, well, like I said, it, it, I understand your point. I'm just expressing yeah. my point as well. Yeah, I think we'll agree goal. to disagree. Yeah. And it would be at the end it's of the day, you can tell me what you want. So that's what it is. But I have to voice we, my opinion. We can agree to disagree, but we don't have to be disagreeable. Right. Right. Um, their goal is light. You know, um, at their field. I don't know what they go for. You know, it's something that I think down the road. We, we can investigate putting the lights on the field. Not tomorrow, not next, not next year. You know. but as, the, as the mayor said that, that was something that we were looking at as a little bit yeah. to donate to the village. I remember a few so years again, ago. So again, the give and take, right? because we in the past had not been charged for anything, yeah. we looked to give back to where we play. And there were proposals on the table, and we had, and again, this is, we talk about before me, we had gone as far as getting approval, and then it just sat. I know. So I that voted. was that was our donation to the I village voted for approval. For thank you for letting us use the field. Hudson Heritage was going to provide lights, support, but Hudson Heritage knew nothing about it. So for me, on that level, when I'm looking at that, and then we're years. coming with 196 dollar electric bill, that's where sometimes that's where I don't understand because to me that that's not about it. So, but then the mayor said about the village investigating it at some point. Which I think would be awesome for the girls, and it would be awesome for the village. Well, T ball has it. T ball has it. T ball fill it. They would love it. I think. Oh, they would love it. They might be. They might come back from college by the time. They're <laughs> right. But that's what we do now at Mays. We give them a treat. You know, we give them all the little yeah, ones from one to just give little. Yeah. Eight down. Yes. Yeah. From eight down, we give them provide one night where they play on the lights. We used to do that in the Poconos for soccer. We go to the high school field, it was after turf. The little kids yeah. and after turf at night under the lights. It doesn't get heaven. Yeah, yeah. Right. Right. And 
questions? I don't want to hold you up. Do you guys have any more for me? And again, we discussed about the open lines of communication. I think moving forward, I think it's going to be yeah. much better. Mm -hmm. So again, at any point the board has any questions regarding the please do not hesitate to contact me. And I will do the same with you in terms of, you know, and again, this was a nice surprise coming out of it. I think we can have some young boys and girls playing up there. So I thank you for that. I didn't. I, I knew it wasn't being done. I, I didn't think they were told it couldn't be done. Yeah. That doesn't make any sense at all. And again, you and I spoke. Yeah. What I was told and what really happened, yeah. I don't know. Mm -hmm. I just came, and yeah, I guess shame on me for not inquiring further. But sometimes you just have to ask that of the, okay, I'm not going to accept no for an answer. Or I, have, I, I can't write. I have to. So that's. I have to ask the question. So figure it out. Yeah. Uh, because. There's three. Yeah. There's my side, your side, and then the truth. Yeah. So, so figure it in in your, okay. in your schedule. I don't know, your schedule's made? Yeah. No. Please. I'm still trying to find I'm still trying to find places.